Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, our goal is just to familiarize ourselves with the terms number theory, divisible by, divides, factor, multiple, and factorization. This comes from an area of mathematics known as number theory. Number theory is a branch of mathematics devoted to the study of the properties of the natural numbers, which start with the number 1, 2, 3, and so on, continuing indefinitely in that pattern. Natural numbers are also known as counting numbers or positive integers. We'd like to discuss the divisibility of counting numbers. A counting number is divisible by another counting number if dividing the first by the second leaves a remainder of zero. So for example, we would say that 10 is divisible by 5 because 5 goes into 10 twice with a remainder of 0. The formal definition of what it means to be divisible is that the natural number A is divisible by the natural number B if there exists a natural number K such that A equals B times K. So that sounds a little complicated, but all we're saying is that, for example, um, 10 is divisible by 5 because 10 can be written as 5 times some number k. In this case, the number k would be 2, but it doesn't really matter what k is. This is the same reason that um, 5 divides into 10 twice. So as long as you can find that number k, the number of times that 5 goes into 10, 10 is divisible by 5. We don't like having to write 10 is divisible by 5 over and over again. So the way that we write it is 5 divides 10. So that's this notation here, b divides a. So there are lots of different terms that we can use to explain the same relationship. Since 5 divides 10, meaning that 10 can be written as a product of 5 and another number, we can explain that same relationship by saying that 5 is a factor of 10. We could also say 5 is a divisor of 10. Or we can say 10 is a multiple of 5. All of these really imply the same relationship, which is to say that 5 goes evenly into the number 10. The number 30 equals 6 times 5. This product is called a factorization of 30 because 30 is equal to the product of its two factors. 6 is a factor and 5 is a factor. And anytime you write a number as a product, we call that a factorization. An example of what you might need to do in your class is decide whether the first number is divisible by the second. So we just want to make sure you know what divisible by means. And all it means is that it goes evenly into the other number. So you would check what's 56 divided by 8, and you can write it in either format, and you would see that it goes in 7 times. Or another way of thinking about it is 56 can be written as the product of 8 times 7. So since 56 is evenly divided by 8 with no remainder, we would say yes, 56 is divisible by 8 we would write this as 8 divides 56. Here's another example. Is 70 divisible by 6? So if you try dividing 6 into 70, you're going to see that it does not, in fact, go in evenly. 6 does not go evenly into 70. 6 goes into 7 once. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract, bring down. 6 goes into 10 once. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract, and we have a remainder of 4. So 6 does not go evenly into 70. Another way of saying that is because the quotient 70 divided by 6 is not a natural number. In other words, it um, results in a fraction, 70 is not divisible by 6. And we can write that by crossing off the divisibility symbol. So 6 does not divide 70 could be written like this. 
You might also be asked to find all the natural number factors of each number. In other words, all the numbers that divide evenly into the number. So for example, for part A, we have the number 24. I find it easiest to find all the factors starting with the number 1 and thinking of what it multiplies by to give me 24. So for example, 1 times 24 is 24. Now usually we like to list all the factors in numerical order. So what I do is I have 1 at the beginning and then I put the number 24 a distance away to make it at the end of my list. And then I go up to the number 2. Does 2 go into 24? Yes, 2 times 12 is 24. So both 2 and 12 are factors of 24. And then does 3 go into 24? Yes, it goes in 8 times. And then does 4 go into 24? Yes, it goes in 6 times. Does 5 go into 24? No. And then once we reach 6, there's no need to check anymore. We know we have the whole list once you uh, work your way up to the larger factor, the smallest of the larger factors. Now for part B, you're going to find that only the number 1 and 13 go in evenly. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on do not divide into 13. So the only factors of 13 are 1 and 13. So let's say we were asked to find all the factors of 75. So don't let the fact that it's a larger number intimidate you. Just be methodical about it. So we have 1 always goes into every natural number evenly. 1, in, one times 75 is 75. So I'm going to start and end my list with 1 and 75. Now, does 2 go into 75? No, 75 is not an even number, so it's definitely not going to go in. How about 3? Well, you can confirm this on your calculator, but 3 goes into 75. 25 times. How about 4? No, because no even numbers are going to go in if 2 doesn't go in, right? So we're going to skip the even numbers and just check the odds. How about 5? You can confirm on your calculator 5 goes into 75 15 times. We're going to skip 6 because it's even. How about the number 7? Well, 7 is not going to go into 75 evenly. 7 is going to go into 75 10 times with a remainder of 5. So 7 doesn't work. How about 9? Nine? 9 goes into 75 8 times. 8 times 9 is 72 with a remainder of 3. So 9 doesn't go in evenly either. 10 doesn't go in evenly because 10 goes into 75 7 times with a remainder of 5. Uh, let's check 11. 11 goes into 75. Let's see. It looks like it would go in about 6 times. 6 times 11 would be 66. And subtracting, we would get a remainder of 9. So 11 doesn't work. We could try 13. 13 goes into 75. We could try maybe 5 times. 5 times 13, though, is going to give us 65, which has a remainder of 10. So in fact, the only factors are 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. How about if we find all the factors of 45? Why don't you try pausing the video and see if you can come up with that list of factors yourself. Okay, so to find the factors of 45, we're going to have 1 and 45. It's not an even number, so 2 doesn't go in, so that means none of the even numbers will. 3 goes in 15 times. 5 goes in 9 times. Um, does 7 go in? 7 goes into 45 6 times with a remainder of 3. Um, does And we've already checked 9. 8 is even, so we skip over it. We've already checked 9, so here are all the factors of 45. Sometimes you're going to be asked what numbers, uh, which factors two numbers have in common. In this case, they have the factors 1, 3, 5, um, and 15 in common. So these are known as common factors. Um, you're also in our homework uh, for my classes that I teach. Sometimes you'll have true or false statements about the divisibility of numbers. For example, here it says if n is a natural number and 9 divides n, then 3 divides n. And we're supposed to determine if that's true or false. 
Well, let's think about some numbers that 9 goes into evenly. 9 goes into 9 evenly. Does 3 go into 9? Yes, it does, 3 times. 9 times 2 is 18, so 9 divides 18. Does 3 divide 18? Yeah, 3 times 6 is 18. 9 goes into 27 evenly, 3 times. Does 3 go into 27 evenly? Yes, it does. Now, why is that happening? Well, the real reason that it's happening is because to say that it's divisible by, like the number 27 is divisible by 9, because it can be written as 9 times some number. But if 27 can be written as 9 times some number, 9 is 3 times 3. So 27 can be written as 3 times some number, that number being 3n instead of n. So it's always going to be the case because the 3 goes evenly into the 9, that 3 will also uh, go evenly into any number that 9 goes evenly into. Another way of saying that is if 9 divides n, then n equals 9a for some natural number a. So n equals 3 times 3 times a, and that means 3 is a factor of n. So this statement is true. Again, that worked because 3 divided 9. Now, this next one you might confuse with the previous one, so you have to be careful. It says, if n is a natural number and 5 divides n, then 10 divides n. Okay, now, since 5 divides 10, you might think this is true, but let's check. What are numbers that 5 goes into evenly that 5 divides? 5 divides 5, 5 divides 10, 5 divides 25, and 5 divides 30, and so on. 5 divides all the multiples of 5. But 10 only goes evenly into multiples of 10. 10, 20, 30. Oh, I skipped, I skipped 15 and 20 on my list here. Hold on. I want to add them in there just to be complete. So 10 goes into the 10 evenly. It goes into the 20 evenly. It goes into 30 evenly. But it doesn't go into the 5, the 15, and the 25. So what has happened here? Well, in the previous problem, we had the order reversed. The question was more similar to... If n uh, is divisible by 10, then it's divisible by 5. That would work because 10 is the larger number. Um, to say that 10 goes in guarantees that 5 does also. But not the other way around. As we can see, there are definitely numbers that are divisible by 5 that are not divisible by 10. So in this case, this would actually be false. The fact that 10 divides n means n is equal to 10a, which is 2 times 5 times a. We would need 5 and 2 both to be factors of n. When we say that 5 divides n, it only guarantees that n equals 5a for some natural number a. So 5 is a factor, but not necessarily the 2. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.